So today, I think I'm going to take a couple of minutes to try troubleshooting this Slot 1 Pentium 3 as a bit of a off-the-cuff revisit video. So I had a person comment on the video, the Part 2 one specifically, where they had mentioned uh, BIOS beep codes and wondered if this was an AMI BIOS or a Phoenix BIOS. Well, I don't believe I documented it too well in the video, so that's why I thought I'd make this follow-up. This has an award BIOS, and you can kind of see the foil over the chip there. So I don't think that postcode is that helpful, at least the ones that I was given for AMI or for Phoenix. I also tried swapping out the RAM, which I don't think was the fix. There's, the system had a 64 gigabyte PC100 stick by a pacer, and I tried putting in another RAM stick, and basically I turn it on, and the same thing applies. Although, interestingly now, I'm just hearing this feedback from presumably the modem. But you can hear it still makes the same series of post beeps, but I don't get anything out of the video. I just saw the keyboard lights flash, but still there's absolutely nothing. I do, when it, when it starts up, I do see the floppy drive light up successfully. So I'm just not sure what's up. Like I'm still thinking it's down to the video card. So I think what I'm gonna do is, for one thing, turn this off. But I've got an extra video card. I think it's a GeForce 4MX440 that I pulled from my old HP. And, excuse the loud vehicle outside. I think I'm gonna try it. I just gotta go grab it from my trailer. And we'll see if this thing actually posts with that video card instead. Because maybe that might be why it's not outputting any video from the VGA. All right, before we boot this thing up, a couple things to note. Number one of which, I did get that video card switched out with a GeForce 4MX440 with this old one here being this ATI 3D Rage Pro AGP. But another thing I noticed was the Ethernet card in the PCI slot was loose. I don't know what that was about, but it was not in the slot all the way. I don't think that's got anything to do with it because it probably was still making contact, but who's to say, really? Anyways... I'm still making that horrible beeping sound. I, I'm going to just assume that that's the modem. <gasps> what? No way! Oh my gosh, that actually got it to work. It was a bad video card, or something to do with the video card. And my RAM works, 128 megabytes. Bro, that's, that's awesome. So I had a suspicion that it was the video card this whole time. And I was right. I mean, gut instincts don't usually work out, but hey, that was actually a pretty good guess this time around. So, sweet. One of the stragglers is actually working. Oh my gosh. Well, cool. I'm just going to take that stupid modem out because I think that's the thing that's making the sound. But at least the at least the cooling fan's working on the processor. So that's awesome. But yeah, um, that's what, I guess we'll leave it there. I got to get a hard drive for this thing since now I know it works. Sweet. I mean, I could also check out this video card, too. I could see if this thing works. I don't remember what this one is. I think, yeah, ATI Rage 128 Pro. That's what I thought this was. This would probably be a more appropriate video card for something like this rather than a GeForce 4 because, well, a GeForce 4 is a significantly newer card, and it's obviously the 128 Pro is going to be faster than a 3D Rage Pro, but, you know, it is whatever. So, yeah, I'm going to call that a win. So... I'll keep this one short. So, yeah, if the person uh, was commenting on that video, I forget your username off the top of my head. I can't remember it. But if you do see this video, hopefully this helps answer your question about the postcodes. So, uh, awesome, awesome. All right, well, that wraps this up. So I'll catch you all in the next video.